Your Excellency Prime Minister, Dr. Mustafa Madbouli, Your Excellency Governor of the Central Bank of Egypt, Mr. Tariq Aymer, esteemed ministers, honorable guests. It's a privilege to stand here today and present Egypt's case study. At the Central Bank of Egypt, we aim for a financial sector that is simpler, faster, and easier to access, to fulfill our people's needs and demands. Imagine all you need is at the press of a button, a world where there are no queues for banks' deposits or cash outs before long holidays. You can pay your children's tuition fees from office. You don't need to rush to the bank to pay your installments. Imagine an efficient world where our unbanked population feels included, where they have easy access to finance and all financial services, and where, where they have easy access to finance and all financial services at the tip of their fingers, where the system actually helped them not only to benefit from the efficiency, but actually save on their expenses. We aim for a future fueled by innovation, technology, and a strong fintech ecosystem. We support interoperability of platforms and induce government collaborations. A few years ago, the Central Bank of Egypt took the decision to modernize the financial services aiming at transforming the society into a less cash one. For this reason, the National Payment Council was established in Feb 2017, headed by His Excellency, President Al-Fattah sisi reflecting the support of the state to the less cash transformation. Over the course of two years, the MPC has realized many important achievements in multiple attributes. We have advanced on the legal and regulatory levels, electronic acceptance, payment tools, cybersecurity, and the significant initiatives related to Egypt's fintech and innovation strategy announced in March this year. Honorable guests, please allow me to invite you now to watch a video for, that compiles the milestones and initiatives taken for Egypt's less cash society transformation. The digital age has changed the world as we know it. Tangible elements have been turned into lines of code. Distance has become an obstacle of the past, and speed is everything. As a result, expectations of how everything is conducted have risen. People don't stop taxis anymore, they tap their phones. Retail stores are now screens and lists. TV has become a thing of the past, and everyone is always connected. The speed of adoption of new innovations has exponentially increased over the years. With early inventions such as the telephone taking as long as 75 years to reach 50 million users, the speed has skyrocketed with Facebook reaching the mark in two years, Instagram in 19 months, and Pokemon's augmented reality app in just 19 days. Success in today's market requires an innovate or die mentality, where if today's mandates aren't met, failure is inevitable. When it comes to the financial sector, the message is loud and clear. Make it simpler, faster, easier to access, and more convenient. And with the emergence of digital financial services, the world is gravitating towards the elimination of paper currency and physical dealings, instead opting for faster and more efficient alternatives. With the Egyptian population's exposure to the global culture and the average user spending at least three hours daily on social networks, the expectations from all services have become much higher, whether it's shopping, entertainment, or education. Naturally, the financial sector is also subject to these expectations. Although bank customers believe in the superiority of banks when it comes to fraud protection, quality service, and transparency, Youth prefer non-traditional fintech firms due to the ease of access and speed they offer. Millennials' aspirations are not met by traditional financial services, as they constantly look for convenient financial solutions that help them define their uniqueness and enable their experiences. And with youth in the age bracket of 15 to 39, representing more than 41.3% of Egypt's population, this presents an opportunity to effectively utilize the large segment of early adopters and absorb them into the economy. Accordingly, a few years ago, the Central Bank of Egypt was inspired to take the very first steps to modernize the financial sector, not only to appeal to youth, 
but also to transform Egypt into a digital economy, achieve financial inclusion, and stimulate the use of electronic means and channels of payment. Introducing the Less Cash Initiative, which aims to reduce the use of banknotes outside the banking sector and support digital financial services as a replacement. But bringing the initiative off the ground could only be achieved through nationwide efforts, which necessitated establishing the National Payment Council in February 2017, headed by His Excellency President Abdel Fattah Sisi, reflecting the state's commitment towards the desired transformation. The transformation into a less cash society brings benefits to individuals as well as the overall economy. Individuals will enjoy convenience, safety, and expenditure tracking and control. On an economic level, every 10% increase in electronic payment share versus cash translates into 1.5 billion US dollars more in Egypt's GDP and opens up 200,000 job opportunities. Less cash will also help in curbing inflation rates and decrease the cost of printing and circulating banknotes. National Payment Council experts developed a methodology for action built on integrated efforts which was realized through the Less Cash Transformation Framework, encouraging citizens to pay digitally for their products and services instead of using cash, which facilitates the efficient transfer of funds and contributes to increasing government receipts and state resources, thus supporting the national economy. Over the course of two years, the National Payment Council has realized many achievements, the most important of which are the Less Cash Law, which supports the state's tendency to transform into a digital economy, achieve financial inclusion, and stimulate the use and means of electronic payment. MISA, Egypt's national payment card, which aims to accelerate financial inclusion adoption in Egypt. The recently launched card will help the underserved citizens become connected to financial institutions with lower fees and good value proposition. The National Payment Council has also enabled mobile payment through mandating a 50% discount scheme since mid-2017, which positively reflected on the number of accounts that currently exceed 12 million, showing a growth rate of 36% in 2018, and a total value of annual transactions of 11.7 billion Egyptian pounds. Interoperability among service providers has also played a significant role in this success story. Another important achievement was the digitization of government payments and collections, which are both key to financial inclusion. And within the coming three years, one million points of acceptance are expected to be availed across different channels. Accordingly, the QR code payment regulations were put in place for simple and secure digital payment acceptance through mobile phones. Steps were also taken towards facilitating new customers' onboarding process through an eKYC platform based on blockchain technology, a platform that allows customers to instantly register without the need to visit the bank's branch or any service provider. We couldn't go deeper into this endeavor without enhancing cybersecurity, consumer protection, and financial literacy. Steps were taken towards launching a cybersecurity center for the financial sector in late 2019, which will provide proactive security services, incident handling, and digital forensics. Nevertheless, the human element could not be overlooked, and hence a two-year competency development program was recently launched under the name Mastering Information Security, with the objective of graduating 100 security experts from the banking sector. As for consumer protection and financial literacy, a regulation has been recently issued to govern the relationship between banks and their clients at all stages, set up a clear complaint handling mechanism, and emphasize the role of banks in financial literacy. And last, but certainly not least, the most important pillar to come out of the Less Cash Initiative is fintech and innovation, as we are now witnessing the biggest transformation in financial history, the fintech revolution. But first of all, what is fintech and why is it so important? Fintech is basically the innovative use of technology in the design and delivery of financial services. As simple as it may sound, the impact is far from that. Global investment in fintech has grown by 50% over the past few years, reaching USD 54 billion in 2018. And by 2025, global fintech revenue is expected to reach 265 billion US dollars. Fintech adoption globally is predicted to reach 52% and has the potential to create over 1 billion jobs across developing markets. Due to its importance and impact, developed and developing countries have embraced fintech, 
and the implementation of fintech in Egypt will help pave the way into a digital future and a prosperous economy, as each Egyptian pound invested in fintech generates 1.6 Egyptian pounds to GDP, and each job created in fintech supports 5.6 other jobs. Through fintech and innovation, youth will be better prepared for jobs of the future. With developed entrepreneurial mindsets, new employment opportunities, access to new, more convenient, affordable financial products, and support to start and build their businesses. All the aforementioned factors contributed to the Central Bank of Egypt's decision to launch Egypt's fintech and innovation strategy, with the vision of positioning Egypt as the regionally recognized fintech hub in the Arab world and Africa home to next generation financial services and talent and innovation development. The national aspiration is to establish Egypt as a flagship for financial inclusion, SME financing, cross-border payments, as well as a magnet for foreign fintech innovations and investments in technology. Egypt's fintech and innovation strategy brings both the National 2030 vision and the Central Bank's vision to life while also addressing market participants' aspirations, such as increasing revenue, reducing risk, improving data access and processing, accessing new investment opportunities, while decreasing operational anti-money laundering and cybersecurity risk. The FinTech strategy identified 32 strategic initiatives, the most important of which are the key pillars that will come to life in 2019. Starting with establishing Egypt's FinTech hub that will utilize the iconic Central Bank of Egypt's building which reflects the bank's heritage and now marks the starting line towards the future. The hub will be a one-stop shop for all fintech startups, allowing testing of new innovations, collaborations with other global fintech hubs, transferring talent and promoting the latest fintech trends, ultimately helping promote fintech in Egypt locally and globally. The hub can also be accessed online through the fintech portal, which facilitates registration for utmost convenience. The second pillar was the creation of the regulatory sandbox, which is a controlled testing environment that balances innovation and risk with an objective to manage regulatory evolution and ensure customer protection to be able to regulate new fintech trends. And in order for these pillars to thrive, collaboration across the ecosystem, especially between regulators and governments, is a key success factor. Finally, as a reflection of the state's commitment to the success of the fintech and innovation strategy, a fund of 1 billion Egyptian pounds was dedicated to fuel ecosystem growth, encourage fintech startups, invest in youth talents, and fund the necessary infrastructure to spur new fintech trends. Digitization has changed everything, from the smallest details in our lives to the way countries are governed. And with the collaborative efforts, we will all bring Egypt into the modern world of innovative financial services. Welcome to Egypt's digital financial evolution. I really feel proud of what has been achieved in just two years. But this is just the beginning of our long awarding journey. The MPC has taken the responsibility to jumpstart the less cash transformation framework initiatives with many accomplishments in a short period of time. The less, cash, the less cash law has already been issued and endorsed by His Excellency President Al Fattah al Sisi on April, on April 16, 2019. Accordingly, Ministry of Finance has proceeded with mandating electronic payments for government fees above 500 Egyptian pounds since 1st of May. In response to that, and under the supervision of the Central Bank of Egypt, the banking sector managed to install 16,000 points of sale at government entities that provide public services, with more than 31 million cards now accepted on those points of sales. Furthermore, the banking sector availed around 5.5 million prepaid cards to be issued free of charge for government payment use without the need of signing any documentation. We made the process easier, simpler, and attainable for any citizen to use. 
Then comes our most prized achievement, the launch of our national payment scheme, MISA, that reached 500,000 issued cards since its takeoff in December 2018. MISA cards are now accepted across all 12,000 ATM machines and 76,000 point of sale across Egypt. And today, in our fast-changing world, where everyone holds a cell phone, CBE has licensed seven banks to provide QR code acceptance. Shortly, the 13 million customers registered on mobile money will be able to do digital merchant payments. We also re re released the contactless payment regulation, allowing NFC payments and wearable to be used for the first time in the Egyptian market. Such tap-and-go transaction can reach up to 300 Egyptian pounds and are best used for transportation. Last but not least, the launch of the FinTech and Innovation Strategy with more than 30 initiatives directed towards Egypt digital transformation. And today, we witness the three most important pillars of the strategy come to life. Today, we announce for the first time the soft launch of our regulatory sandbox within which fintech companies can experiment their innovative fintech solutions in a live and relaxed regulatory structure. CBE has called out for the, the first pilot cohort in the sandbox to experiment the digital onboarding of mobile payment subscriber solution. Then comes the big, re the big reveal of our fintech hub in collaboration with the Greek campus. The FinTech Hub aims to connect all FinTech ecosystem, opening its gate to the public in a few months as the Central Bank of Egypt dedicated its heritage building in the heart of downtown Cairo to endorse such an initiative. The third announcement in our event today is the launch of the FinTech portal that is the virtual gateway to the FinTech Hub. This online platform is now live and ready to be accessed by anyone who is interested to be connected virtually to Egypt's fintech ecosystem from anywhere across the globe. Visit and register now to Fintech Egypt portal and stay connected with the latest updates. Lastly and most importantly, the Fintech Fund, where the CBE has committed to 1 billion EGP towards fintech innovation investments. In this momentous declaration to come, there's, there is an African proverb that comes to mind. If you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. With this mindset, we witness today the signature of two memorandums of understanding. The first reflects extensive efforts to provide an integrated regulatory support to the fintech ecosystem in Egypt between the Central Bank of Egypt and our esteemed national regulators, namely the Financial Regulatory Authority, the Money Laundry and Terrorist Financing Combating Unit, and the National Telecom Regulatory Authority. The second MOU is between the Central Bank of Egypt and the Ministry of Social Solidarity around using the national payment scheme in safety net payments. Ladies and gentlemen, I was inspired today to reflect a partial image of the extensive work dedicated towards the advancement of less cash transformation and fintech in Egypt. I hope the illustrated achievements and initiatives reflect the depth of our commitment to enable this digital transformation in a safe and effective environment where we will consistently strive to succeed. Thank you for your attention.